left. One bite, baby. There it is. All right, Pizza Review time. We're at Lilo's Tomato Pies. And all right, so do you catch the backstory? Crazy backstory. First of all, shame on you, Austin, in your entire existence, not to point the finger, but we were just driving down this street. We drove right past Lilo's. I pulled up the app. I'm like, dude, this is like an eight something on the, on the app. We walk in, the place is buzzing. Not only that, we get the story. I think Johnny said the guy who owns it has, has made it. This used to be Papa's in Robbinsville. Same recipe, which is one of my favorites. How long have you had this place for? Uh, 14, 14 months. months. Oh, it's new. Yeah, I'm a retired He is the original Papa's pizza. When they split up, when they left in Robbinsville, Johnny opened up his own in Hamilton. The store closed. It was a shopping center. So he retired, and me and him are really good friends, and during COVID, we were talking, I'm just like, I want to open up a spot. And he's just like, well, if you open up a spot, I'll mentor you, and we're going to kick ass. He came in, and he brought the real recipe over here. So I'm expecting huge things, and he said specifically he wanted to bring Trenton tomato pies to this part of Jersey. We're more humbled that we brought Trenton to South Jersey. Yeah. And let them experience the food that we grew up with. Like, we were spoiled by going on every corner, and there was a pizza place or a bakery or, or a sandwich shop or a pasta place. But when we brought it here, we were tired of eating shit. I mean, it was shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see what we got. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Great store, and you can already tell it has that firmness that I generally like with the tomato pies. Um, you, although this looks more cheese than tomato, to be totally honest. Um, good flop, one bite, uh, and the story was great. Is he out here? Talk about talk about a classy. Go get your the wife is working. I'm gonna say that's a classy move that they didn't come out to try to pressure the score. Although he's got his he's got his minions out here all staring. Uh, one bite, every nose rolls. Here we go. No flop that I always love. I don't want to burn my face off because it just came out of the oven. Yet everyone's staring at me, so there's pressure to eat quick. I got out to the buddy. <laughs> what? I got out to the It's really good. We've been doing a route today, Austin, where you've been giving me eights that haven't been eights. It's like we're going in and they're sevens, they're decent, they're all right, but nothing has been like worth driving for, which is an eight. You nervous? Ah. Uh, Thank you, here we go. I mean, this is my style of pizza. Eight, four. All right, four on Nice. Good number. Nice. Nice. Great. You, did the to no. <laughs> you guys did the tomato pie well. The Papa's guy. I mean, I love this style of pizza. It's great. Thank it's great. You. I recommend it. This is as good as I've had on this trip. Eight, four. Easy. I got cheese stuck in my mouth. There you go. Uh, Lilo, so congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come see these guys. Tell them the story real quick. I think they heard it, but you were uh, an iron worker for how long? For a while. For a while. Mm -hmm. Wait, you going to age yourself? What? A yeah. long time. We'll say. Yeah, All right. <laughs> and then you were a nurse. Nurse, 20 years. And they started together. So to, in this with the guy who started with, the, the chef is in there, the original guy who did it, right? The Papa's? The Papa's guy, Donnie and Zaro. Well, we he came, thank him. the pies during the week, and he would relieve him on Fridays and Saturdays because we got so busy. We were running, selling out of dough at 100 pies. Just me and him running the front. What is this thing on the side? What does the bird mean? Trenton Chambersburg. This is where the. Uh, Trenton tomato pie was developed. That's where, he grew up. That's where Di Lorenzo started. Yep. I love Papa's all those spots. They're all so good. This um, is Joe Iveron, our other great. pizza guy, and he's actually great. from Di Lo's back in the day as well. All so, great. All but friends. I just want to give props to Di Lorenzo's, Papa's, everybody, you know, from Trenton. This is this is for you guys. It isn't about us. It's about bringing our culture here and all our customers who enjoy it. It's the great score, stuff. The score doesn't matter. It's just you enjoyed it, and that's what warms it's my great. heart. This is great. This is right up my alley, and, and you guys did. And all my staff, how hard they work, they man. Awesome that's, staff. We have it isn't about staff. the owner; it's about everybody that you surround yourself with. And without them, we are nothing. I um, love it. I'm glad. I'm so glad we stopped by this guy. I said in the beginning, we almost did it. We drove by it. We did a U-turn. So thank God. Um, that is a great job. Like so happy that we stopped by. It was really great. And what an honor just having you here. Uh, I need I at least one thank picture. Thank you. Let's very do it. Let's do it. Right. Come on, yeah, John, let's do get a in. picture of the three of us. Yeah. Someone want to take it for him? 
You want a little selfie or? It's great. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks a lot, Josh. Now you're so we're actually ranked. Yeah, we're going for number one in the country for cheesesteaks. The cheesesteak looked great. I said that no, when I walked we, in. We are ranked high. Right. Yeah. All right. Super high. You take one to go. Yeah, I would love yeah. for you to cheese steak. Love for you to try. How you serve it normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, I got so caught up in this Black Friday when this airs. People don't know I'm a acclaimed children's author. Sharks have feelings too. We got the full set going on sale. It is a children's book, but there are f bombs every other page. So do what you want with that. But this is fired at the whole book there on sale Black Friday. I had an inside joke for you. Oh yeah, I had a punch bar waiting for you, and I remember. You <laughs> I ruined Thanksgiving. Stu gave me these punch bars. I bit it. I didn't look. I just bit it. Went back out. Twenty minutes later. I was like, something is wrong. <laughs> there are nine doses in the one chocolate. Yeah. Each one. They're little like this big. Yeah. <laughs> e each one was 25. Yeah. And I ate six of them. <laughs> yeah, well, and not I, many people I don't want, I don't, Yeah, I don't want my parents to have to take me to the hospital again. <laughs> <laughs> I passed out cold. Yeah, I, woke, my, I was over my parents for Thanksgiving and not like drugs. They took me to the hospital. I woke up like four hours later. I had no idea what happened. Oh, here we go. All right. So my favorite cheesesteak in the world is probably Angelo's in Philly. That's that's my number one. So you guys are saying you're up for like an award or something for this, uh, right? We're voted uh, best cheesesteak in New Jersey and Delaware. Okay, so let's see what we got. Now, I'm definitely already on the full side, which does affect it. Wow, this is smoking hot, tough to eat. It's gonna be a mess waiting to happen. <laughs> It's a great cheesesteak. I don't thank God I didn't do cheesesteak reviews. Because you can't move. Like they're so heavy, you I die. This is a great cheesesteak. This is a great cheesesteak. It reminds me of Angelo's. A little bit. Burn face. Now, I go higher a little bit when I like the cheesesteak. This is right up there with the best cheesesteaks I've ever had. I go like a 9-1 on the cheesesteak. It's a big cheesesteak. It's a great cheesesteak. See, I like cheesesteaks this way more than like the Geno's and the Pats, which are garbage. I like the more like... Yeah, this is this is really solid. What's your favorite cheesesteak? I'm gonna answer My that. team, my favorite, everyone's Besides gonna live. I love Phillips. I've never had Phillips. On Passion. Um, I think it's because of nostalgia going with one of my best friends, Mike, every Saturday. To film. Eat them all, bud. Yeah. Um, it's a great I, cheese. I thing. love Phillips. I mean, I love Curly's. I like them all. Oh, you're naming ones I don't even know. No. Are these no, these, aren't these are ones that you have to go to. But those aren't in Philly. Those aren't from Philly, what you're saying. Well, where no, are those no, places? No, Phillips is in Philly. That's is it? Passy on Cabinet. Oh, all right. I haven't had it. Oh, man. Phenomenal. Okay. I, I love them. I love Angelo's. I just can't park. And I wanted to say hello to you, and you told me no. So <laughs> I just had to tell you that. Um, and I love uh, Cafe Carmela's because the people I, I, are, yeah. are amazing. There. I've had that one. So respect to all of them. Um, but my favorite, Phillips. It's right. a simple, I'm easy. I'm going to have to try that next time in Philly. It's your fastball down the middle. Here's a Philly like cheesesteak for you. Right. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you guys. Congratulations. You. So Take care. See ya.